All right, all right, everybody calm down. Save the applause for the next guy. I don't need them. Anyway, all joking aside, folks, my name is Rob, and I'll tell you what, I just made this quick video about Syracuse football and the Syracuse football schedule for 2016. I'll tell you what, I'm so darn excited about uh, this season. I'm excited for the possibilities, you know, with Coach Babers coming in, new coach, uh, you know, new offense that's supposed to be high-octane, uh, highly explosive. I kind of thought over the last year or two, we weren't really utilizing a lot of the uh, a lot of the weapons that we had. Obviously, I wasn't alone. A lot of other fans had the same complaints. Hey, we've got these dynamic wide receivers. We've got these running backs. We need to get a more exciting offense. And I think that's what we're going to get. So anyway, with that said, hopefully you can see the schedule right now. I wanted to stimulate some conversation just because uh, I was bored. And I uh, want to make this video and just talk about the, uh, the team itself. Because I'll tell you what, I was reading that we have the eighth toughest schedule in the country and that's tough when you enter a new program when you enter a new conference the ACC one of the best in the country you got a new coach you're putting in a new offense you've only been in the conference for a couple of years now you kind of got everything going against you and uh, you know I, I'm part of actually two Facebook groups and they're both very entertaining one Facebook group is uh, primarily made up of ex Syracuse players and graduates uh, which I don't know how the heck I got in uh, approved for it, but I'm in it. And the other one is uh, is just basic fans like myself that that want to contribute and talk about Syracuse football. So with that said, one of the topics we were talking about was, hey, of the top 25 teams that we're playing, who is the most beatable? In other words, who could Syracuse possibly upset and really jumpstart their recruiting? I mean, all these games are going to be nationally televised. You're going to have millions of people watching them. You know, who who's beatable? And a lot of people said, you know, Louisville, which I could see Louisville. We could possibly upset. Uh, Notre Dame was another one that came up. And I'll tell you what, Notre Dame, I, I've always been a fan of Notre Dame. They're, they're my third most favorite uh, football college out there. And I'll tell you a fun fact that nobody's going to care about whatsoever. Uh, the head coach, Brian Kelly, he played for a small division two school, Assumption College, uh, located in the Northeast. I played for them as well. He played in the 80s. I played in the 90s. And the fun fact is we both played under the same head coach. So anyway, uh, there's your fun fact for the day. But getting back to the Cuse, I can't root against Notre Dame. I, I you know, of the teams, I hope, uh, you know, I don't want to say I hope Notre Dame wins. I still want to see the Cuse win. But of the top 25 teams, and call me crazy, I'd love to see Clemson. I'd love to see them beat Clemson. And I'll tell you what, uh, you know, uh, within the last two years, we've been within 10 points of beating them two years in a row. I mean, sometimes, you know, even though I know that they're one of the two, two most dominant teams in the nation, sometimes some teams just don't match up well with others. And for some reason, we seem to have, uh, I don't want to say Clemson's number because we haven't beaten them yet, but for some reason we match up. We're going to be on the road uh, against Clemson this year, so it's going to be a tougher road to hoe. But I'll tell you this, if you're going to beat a top 25 team, why not just shoot for the best and say, hey, let's beat Clemson. I don't see FSU uh, as a plausible one. We just haven't, we haven't matched up well with their wide receivers. And I'll tell you what, our defensive backs are young this year. But I, I can tell you this uh, from a couple inside sources, a couple of people that know the program well, they're saying, hey, these D-backs are going to impress. Uh, they're going to be much better in years past, and I'm not ripping on anybody. I'm just saying the D-backs are going to be much improved. You're going to see some, some exciting stuff. Maybe not this year because it's going to be growing pains. pains. We're going to need to give this coach a couple of years. We're going to have to, you know, if we have a stinky year this year, we can't just poop poo them and say, hey, you know what, time to get a new coach. It tends to happen. Uh, you know, you got to give this guy a minimum, I think, three years. But I think he's going to do some exciting, exciting things. I know I'm not alone on this. So anyway, with that said, uh, that's all I got. I just wanted to really make this quick video. Hopefully you found the schedule uh, helpful. For some reason, whenever I go on Google and I type in Syracuse football schedule 2016, the very first search is Syracuse football that comes up is Syracuse football 2014 schedule. I, I don't know why. It just always, always does. Maybe it's my luck or my bum computer. Anyway, with that said, I'm done talking. Hopefully you're done listening. And my goal was that we finish at the same time. So take care, folks, and comment below and uh, give me your thoughts. Who do you think is uh, the, a potential big win for the Cuse this year? Thanks so much. Talk to you, uh, Syracuse fans. Go Orange.